you got to admit, this is an awesome shirt. Well, I think it's awesome. Walmart. I buy all my clothes at Walmart. I didn't tell you, did I? When I went to Walmart, well, I went to the Walmart over in uh, that place over there, New Brighton, because I needed to get some... ramen, 28 cent ramen, and they had some of those uh, shorts that I like to sleep in, except they didn't have any in my size, or larger, or if you, you know, they had like small and medium, and that's it, it's like, that's no good, so I went to the Walmart in St. Paul, and while I was there, I not only bought that, but I bought lots of other stuff, so this I actually got in St. Paul. Or was it New Brighton? I've already forgotten what I bought where. Yeah, I bought this shirt in New Brighton. And then in St. Paul, I spent $30 on five articles of clothing. So you get to see this one. That OP shirt was one of them. And I will wear another shirt tomorrow. Something to look forward to. In the meantime, it's 7.45 p.m. 7.45. Good God. But I'm finally on top of all my work. Thank goodness. So tomorrow I can just be uh, lazy like I usually am on Fridays. Actually, I'm going to be extra lazy the next two Fridays because although I'm working tomorrow, the Friday after that I'm taking off, and the Friday after that I'm taking off as part of my birthday. My birthday is in two weeks. Can you believe it? Two weeks from today. I can't believe it because I haven't uh, renewed my license yet. My driver's license is going to expire in two weeks, and I really need to do something about it. But if the Rangers keep winning, it's going to be a full beard and in the new photo, which wouldn't be bad, I guess, but I'm going to hold out and see how the series goes. Actually, I'm just too lazy to take care of it before next week. Next week, I'm going to get my license renewed, get my new photo, and we'll see if I wear the same shirt I wore four years ago and four years before that. It's a little ragged, but I could pull it off. But that's the end of my driver's license story for now. To be continued. Mm. I've been here so late, I've almost finished my 24-ounce Dr. Pepper, Diet Dr. Pepper. It's currently 58 degrees. That is almost 30 degrees cooler than the last temperature I gave you yesterday. It rained, and has rained, and is continuing to rain, and we are talking inches now of rain, and I'm a little scared to go check out my basement, but I will, but there's probably a little puddle in there or two, because there's so much, so much rain at this point that I would expect that, well, that's why it's a sunken basement because it slowly sinks. But the weather was interesting, and there was lots of loud thunderclaps and excitement and pouring rain, torrential downpour, loud. In fact, I can't quite hear it now. I don't know if it's raining now or not. It wasn't 10 minutes ago, but the way it's been going. But it would rain, it would rain really loud and hard. There was hail today. Hail is always loud. I don't think there was any last night, but the rain was so exciting that combined with the involuntary nap I took for much of the Rangers game, once again I stayed up way too late. But that seems like the saga of my life. I, I fall asleep between about 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. And then that pretty much guarantees that no matter how much I want to sleep, I'll be up until at least 4 a.m. not sleeping. It'd be okay if I got some stuff done, but not happening. Today, Thursday, day four, Canadian Junk Food Week. I keep finding places to put the old bags. And I really should clean them out if I'm going to keep them there, because God knows what will happen to them if I let them linger for that long. But after the disappointment of the gravy fries, I'm hoping that today, in our first non-lays, yet still in the potato arena, we're going to try the, the Assassinies. The all-dressed potato chips. 
This is vinegar, I am told. This is red pepper. That is onion. This will be flavor upon flavor, I'm sure. And like I said yesterday, I'm expecting this will sound a lot or taste a lot like the loaded spud variety of uh, chips, which I have forgotten the name of. I'm going to go to the grocery store tonight, too, so I'll never get home. But I haven't been to the grocery store in a couple weeks. I've just been trying to clean out food that Kim doesn't like yet is still in our kitchen or has been in our kitchen for years. By the way, that ravioli, uh, the first couple of bites were exactly what you expected, and it was great, but there was so much of it. I just didn't realize, because it was a double can. You couldn't tell from the Instagram, but really it was a double can and, whoops. By the time I got to the end of it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is too much ravioli for one person. The sad part is I have three more cans just like it that sometime in my lifetime I'll have to eat. But anyway, let's rip into these 40 grams of all-dressed ruffles. Mmm. At least I, I smell something. They do smell vinegary. I'm not used to vinegar being colorless, but I suppose oil is less colorless than vinegar is. When I think vinegar, I think apple cider vinegar or red wine vinegar, both of which are not this color. Look at that one more time. Okay. Man, I love ruffles, though. They got ridges. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. So it's kind of barbecue-y, but it's also kind of vinegary. And you kind of get hit with different flavors. I like it. I would say that these Revels have a, a big crunch, deep ridges, and great taste. The perfect potato chips for snacking or dipping. And plus, the Ferrari Le Fremus texture on Dulé, De Très Croquant et De Bourdain's De Saveur. C'est croustillé, salt, excellent, pour la trempette, ou pour toutes les occasions de collation. Occasions de collation? It's, a, it's an occasion for snacking or dipping, I suppose. It's interesting. I wouldn't expect them to taste as barbecue as they do. Do they make barbecue ruffles? I know they make barbecue lays, but I don't know if they make barbecue ruffles. Maybe that's why I'm so uh, intrigued. Mmm. I like these, though. This is a... Uh, Back on the positive step after our our stumble of yesterday. Now, this computer appears to be barely working. We had one of those 10 second power outages. See, I saw myself freeze just there. And I don't know if I, that means I'm going to freeze on this video or not, or if this video will even work. But during the day, storm related, no doubt. So the laptop kind of stayed okay, but everything else died. Sun server died. Always takes those things 20 minutes to come back up after the, the power was restored. So annoying. But I'm going to try to open my browser, which appears to be dead. Come on, man. Well, if I can't... I don't know what's going on. I got. I do have a question I need to answer, but I can't bring it up, so we're gonna have to wait. Uh, I will half answer it because I half remember it. Uh, it was from Chris, and it was about the Roundies Monopoly game, the Roundies label being the brand of ravioli that I had earlier in the week. Uh, here in Minnesota, or this particular patch of Minnesota, at least. Uh, we got our roundy stuff at Rainbow. Rainbow is our uh, super value chain. So that's where I'm going to go. I reckon I will get 10 or 20 of those stupid Monopoly pieces that are worthless and you never win anything in them, and yet I collect them anyway and keep them until long after the expiration date. There was probably more to that question, but since it's not coming up right now, stupid browser. Well, I'll have to wait for tomorrow on the Big Friday finish and the exciting shirt I'm going to wear because my 10 minutes is up. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to close out Canadian Junk Food Week with a bang.
with an exciting shirt with more information about grocery stores in Minneapolis that will only interest uh, Chris in Wisconsin and maybe not even him. Oh, it's almost now. I'm going to go in my mouth. I'm going to go in my mouth.